All right, friends, we're back again with another episode of the Negro Leagues Season 1 and MLB The Show 23. It's Dad or Neil. Thank you so much for being with us. This time through, we're doing Hilton Smith. Of course, you watched the first series. We did a slash little page off the bat. Hilton Smith is the forgotten star. Hailing from Giddings, Texas, is one of the greatest pitches you likely never heard of. Hilton Lee Smith. Lee Smith. Hilton Smith was a great pitcher, primarily for the Kansas City Monarchs. And Hilton Smith pitched alongside the legendary Satchel Paige, and they were polar opposites. When Satchel walked in the room, oh, the room lit up. Oh, you knew he was in the room. And if you didn't know, he was going to let you know that he was in the room. Hilton Smith was the exact opposite, very quiet, very workmanlike, unassuming but just as lethal, possessing what many believe to be the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. Hilton Smith was indeed the truth. All right. I enjoyed baseball. It was spoiling me. I loved it. It was, it was sweet. All right. Hilton Smith is the next round we're going through. And thanks for making Thanks for hanging out, and make sure you guys hit the like, the subscribe buttons, and tell a couple of friends too, please. We continue to grow the channel here on YouTube. You also can find us live on Twitch most weekdays and most evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 6 a.m. Eastern Time, usually, before work. Mr. Smith will be on the hill here for the Kansas City Mar Man Monarchs. Pitched his foul the way. Ball one. <coughs> Ball one goes inside. And the count is now two balls in a strike. Let's see if we can get this nasty curveball of his going here. Looks like it's got some ridiculous drop. Almost a three quarter arm. Oh, that was nasty. Well, I'm not the one having to hit that. Well, it's chopped up the middle. Or it by the shortstop, oh. thrown to first in time. And Anthony Reese will be the batter now. With two away. All one's the count. Yeah, let's try that nasty curveball once again. It's popped up into the lower left field. Left fielder camps underneath it. Makes the grab, and the inning's over. Three up, three down, they go. And we did not give up a run. And there we go. That's a successful mission done. One done for Mr. Smith. Some of the pitching ones do take a little bit of time. Sometimes you got to be careful you don't get, give up a run or do something else. Pitch two innings, do not give up two runs. Okay, there we go. Case in point. 1938 leader. Sandy Murray now playing for the Chicago team. Aye. In other we got to hold the lead here. Pop foul. Well, let's try the fastball. Lined up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. That's not good. Not the start we wanted here in the eighth inning. But we'll try to get a double play and get out of this now. Swings and misses with that first offer. Slow roller hits the shortstop. It's going to flip across the diamond. To the out. And there's one away. I guess they offered they couldn't get the, sec the speedster going to second base here. So. There's a strike in there. Oh, and this is low for a ball. Two 
balls, two strikes. That's fucking out too. That's in there for a strike. Pop to the first baseman. He's going to cover it, take it himself, and that's going to be the inning. <laughs> Get out of there without giving up a run. We've got one inning in the books still. Carl Glass, the left fielder, will be on the batter now. He faces the top of the ninth inning. Makes the pitch on its way. That's a ball. Third ball misses low. And the count is now a ball and two strikes. This one's fouled away. The count remains one and two. One two pitch on its way again. Fouled away again. Glass doing a great job of staying alive here. One two again. Fouled again. We're going to have to try to give him something a little different this time. Change up his lice, but foul. And it's still one and two. Third ball in the dirt to even the count at two and two. got him to chase the fastball and there's one away oh, oh, this is outside the ball one change up in there for a strike evens the count at one and one after setting up in, outside again as the fastball is fouled away that's now two balls, or one ball and two strikes here. One two pitch on its way. Foul all the way again as the curveball is mashed down the first base side. Catcher sets up down the middle of the plate this time. That one's fouled away again. One two pitch on its way again. One on and missed. He gets another strike in. And there's two away here. Now one, just out away from getting out of this inning. In this ball game, that one's hit foul down on the right field line, sir. Count is quickly over one. In there for a strike. Now it's quickly 0 2. Crowd willing him to finish this batter off here. A big swing and miss gets him with the curveball. And he does the job there, and there's another mission done. Hilton Smith's two missions down. Greatest curveball ever seen is in the next episode. Buck O'Neill believed that Hilton Smith had <coughs> the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. The legendary Monty Irvin would go on to say that it was the greatest curveball that he had the displeasure of ever trying to hit. He threw the big 12 to 6 breaker and he threw what he called a tight curveball, where he would drop down three quarters, and he threw it all with pinpoint control. As a matter of fact, Monty Irvin would go on to say that you could know where his curveball was coming from, and the break and bite on it was so sharp, you still couldn't hit it. That'd be nasty to try to even swing at. Greatest curveball ever seen. All right, two strikeout, two batters, pitch two innings. All right. Sandy Murray's going to lead things off here. She hits the first thing he sees, the curveball. That's going to be caught by the right fielder. There's one away. Oh, he's got a knuckle curveball, too. Okay. 
Tries to bunt at it, and then that doesn't go well. Just goes in there for a strike. Counts on one. No ball, two strikes. O2 pitch on its way. Ball. Just misses low. Crowd thought he was going to get it there. But he gets him on that next pitch, though. And there's two outs. Need two strikeouts and got to pitch two innings. Oh and one. Try to knock the curve again. Those things are never fun to try to hit. They're floating and dancing, then all of a sudden they break. Just like that, he's got him with the 12-6. We got the strikeouts done now. We just got to get through this inning. Oh, it's hit foul on the line. Trying to get him with the dancing curveball. Well, that's just missed point. outside. Glass would be the better, yeah? Off the plate, ball one. Ball. That was driven pretty hard to center field. Center fielder still going back, and he's going to make the catch. <coughs> that defense almost. And Jake Bates will be the batter. Two away here in the top of the second inning. As a roller hit to the second base, we have flipped the first. And the mission's done. All right, the two-way player now. So now I guess we're going to take his, he's going to get a chance to bat now too. Hilton Smith was one of many great two-way stars in the Negro Leagues. And over recent times, we've become enamored by the nature of two-way stars, primarily because of the great success of Shohei Otani. Well, the Negro Leagues were filled with great two-way stars, and Hilton Smith was just one of many. And what made Hilton so special was when he wasn't pitching, he played the outfield and had a lifetime batting average over 300. That's pretty darn impressive. So I guess we get to go two ways here. Hope we don't have to hit a home run. Haven't got the swing mechanics quite down pat yet. Tally two hits, okay. This could take a few attempts here. <laughs> this could take a few attempts. Well, that one's right on the front of that one. Just out front. Good contact on it, but we're just out front of it. That one's fouled, right? That one might get dropping in. Well, left fielder has our number out there today. 0 for 2. Oh man, I was expecting a blazing fastball and got a change up. Looked really silly on that pitch. Got us again with the curveball that time. Okay. Curveball change up in a four seamer. He hasn't thrown the four seamer once. And now he did and he got us out. We'll try that again.
Oh, that was way late on that pitch. We were way late. His power is co is 48. His contact control his contact is 84. That might get in the gap. Might not though. No, oh, it's gonna be caught by the right fielder. Lined out to right the first time up. Five nothing for the Northwest. Line this one to center. That one's gonna drop in. We got a base hit. We just need one more now. We got a couple innings to work with. Probably coming from the seventh inning. We came up from the sixth. All right, that works. And the city's on the scoreboard now, trailing five to two. Oh, we didn't get enough of that pitch. Didn't get enough of it. Nope. You can definitely tell they definitely worked on the audio for the, the bait. Hits off the bat now. All ones the count. We're down by a run here and, well, trying to get back into this one. Oh, we popped it up. That's not going to do us any good. But it's going to drop in for the base hit and we're going to be done with that mission. We squeaked that one out on a Texas leaguer. Now well, we're talking about the 300 hitter. Tally an extra base hit. Okay. We'll try it again. We can tally an extra base hit here in Chicago. No, well, that might not do the distance here, but nope, that's not going to do the distance. We lined up the center field. Fastball change at curveball. Okay. That might squeak through. No, it's not. It's going to be a four set of second, and that's going to be the end of the inning. Thankfully, the offense is doing their part, so we're getting lots of bats in this inning. <laughs> Sadly, not us. Everything, everything except for the center zone is cold. Grounded it right to the third base when he's going to flip the second for the force, and that's all they need. We're over for three with a ground out. His last time up, line up the center field, and then a pop up to the shortstop. Way early. Expecting fastballs to be zipping through here, and as well, they don't throw too many fastballs. That one's chopped in the air. Gonna be caught by the left fielder. Well, we're 0 for 4. Can't say the offense hasn't given us lots of opportunities. 0 for 4 with a flyout. Thankfully, the Monarchs are winning this ball game. 5 to 1 here in the seventh inning. That sounded better, but it was foul. We're still too early on it. There's a number up the middle. A tough play for anybody. You get in He's going to get the force at the second, though. 0 for 5 in the game with another ground out. From the top of the ninth inning, it's 6 to 2. Well, that was hit in the outfield, though it's not going to be an extra base because the runner in front of us is going to stop at second base. an extra base hit. We got a hit finally though. That's right at the second base. Got it. Yeah, my hitting is not as good as my pitching. That's the first thing I'll, you'll, you'll probably notice when you watch this through the streams and everything else. My hitting is not as strong as my pitching is. If it was, we'd probably be doing a lot more games on the line. 
Oh, the third base was cheating him. He's out. Oh. He was cheating on, the, on that one. Well, it looks like we're down 1-1 one, one tie now in the fifth. I'm going to let that one sail high out of here. Nope, that's not even an extra base is either. It's just a routine ground ball out. Oh. <laughs> I haven't hit it solid yet. It's been out in front of everything. I tell you, when I do hit it solid, it's probably going to either go over the fence or off the fence. That's not solid either. It's a little late on the swing. Oh. Well, at least they're winning 4-1, so we got another shot in here in the ninth inning to get that extra base hit. That's eluding us here. There we go. <laughs> like I said, it's either going to go off the fence or be over the fence. We're up by a mile at third, but we got the double, so that'll do the job anyways, and the mission is done. Successful outing there. Perfect debut. Okay. His first game in Kansas City, his first full season with the Monarchs in 1937, what did Hilton Smith do? He only threw a perfect game. What? <laughs> yeah, he Jeez. blanked the Chicago American Giants four to nothing. Hilton Smith had that great breaking ball and then a dominating fastball to go on top of it. You got to sit on his fastball, and then you had virtually no chance of hitting his curveball. That went along with a repertoire of other great pitches, but the curveball was the pitch that really made Hilton Smith unhittable. So basically, I guess you would set him up with the fastball and then throw him the curveball to throw him and really mess him up, I'm guessing. That's what I would do. Pitch three innings. Do not give up a hit. Do not give up a walk. Do not hit a batter. Do not give up a run. Don't let anybody be on base anyway. No one how here. <laughs> Is basically what you're telling us here. Count one and oh. So I pretty much need to do the same thing with the satchel page to just strike the side out three times. Well, so much for that idea. <laughs> That's a rinse and repeat. Right off the bat. Well, if he's got the ungodly curveball, let's get a little bit. All one. See if I can't mess them up at least, anyways. It's not as fast as Pages is, though, but it's still very effective. That's darn good. Oops, that curveball is nasty. Let's try to get him out of this way. Nope, couldn't, couldn't bite on it. Wouldn't bite on it, so we'll keep going down here. Not biting on it, so we'll have to try again. We got one away now. Got him with the slider. Ball. Ball one, no strike. One and one. Aye. Let's try that curveball again right here. Please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're through one inning alive. Still can't give up a hit. Can't give up a walk. Can't hit a batter. 
Guys are not supposed to hit the baseball, just so you know. No ball, two strikes. Don't smash the changeup, please. Oh, please catch it. Somebody catch it. Thank you. <laughs> Carl Glass is up now. Okay. One away in the eighth. Almost halfway there. Nasty curveball. <laughs> it's a little bit of a strut out there. He's earned it. Why not? Aye. Oh, two is count. Cut yeah, out to the fastball, though. Okay. Well, let's go curveball again and hope for the best. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> All right, we got one more inning to go through here. No hits allowed. Thou shall not get a hit. Comes that nasty curveball. <laughs> wow. <coughs> you can know what's coming and you're still not going to hit it. Two away. Eli Mason is the dad and the last batter here. Pitcher trying to help his own cause. Keep this game going. Hey. Hey. No ball. Two All right, buckle up, son. Here it comes. Oh. See why they put that guy in here. Jeez, that was a nasty curveball. Glad I'm not the one trying to hit that thing. A consistent winner. All right. Hilton Smith did something that I don't think we will ever see done in the game of baseball again. Hilton Smith won 20 games or more. 12 consecutive years. Wow. He goes six and one in exhibition games against Major League All-Stars. He was likely the best pitcher in all of baseball at that time. Who by the time that Jackie Robinson breaks Major League Baseball's color barrier, he realized that he was too old. The majors came calling, but he knew by that time he was too old to cross over that threshold and go into Major League Baseball. Another guy that probably would have been great in the majors, but unfortunately, times weren't too kind to a lot of these guys. Pitching, do not give a run. Okay. That's a little easier than the last one. You actually give up a hit this time. Just don't give up the run. Oh, wow. hey. yeah, still dances. It does a little bit. That was a wall that didn't enter match, match, but it still dances. Still nasty. <laughs> Yeah, you, you go back and shake your head. <laughs> I'm shaking my head for you. I'm 
I'm shaking my head for you. That one's popped in the air. Just a, a routine fly ball by the looks of it. They're going to score a run here, aren't they? Dang it. we got to retry. I didn't realize there was a base runner, though. All right, so we got to rethink our strategy here. We can't get a base hit. Cannot go with base hits because there's, there's runners on board. They're on the corners. They're all on the bases everywhere. I need a ground ball double play. Nope. Ball one. Nope. Ball one. Okay. Hey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That just set that it's frozen in a spot. All right, this guy got the pop it in the air last time. So I got silly. Ball two. Ball two. That work. Got him with the fastball. All right. We're a pop fly away from getting out of this inning. Or two curveballs. Ah, oh, come on, get the ball. Got him at the plate, though. That's good. To, oh, that's square the run. <coughs> oh, yeah, the base. We're loaded here. Apologies for all the coughing. All right, let's try this again. No! Oh, that's another rinse and repeat. We get to do that all over again. Bases are loaded. A strikeout and a ground ball double play would be nice. But I don't think that's in the cards. He's not falling for that fastball in the curveball, sir. This guy's a battler up here, that's for sure. Pop them up. Not that deep. No tag. Oh. Who threw home? Why would you throw it home like that? There was no tag on the play. The guy wasn't going to go home. Should have just eaten that baseball and walked it back into the infield. Now I got to deal with him again. Remember in the infield? <coughs> One away. That missed inside, okay. That one didn't miss. Added to that one. Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. Nope, that's the ball. You got a little too crazy on that there. 
Not that one. There we go. This is done. Like I said, sometimes you just got to strike them out yourself. All right. We got the Kansas City Monarchs home alternate jerseys now, too. And now we're in Satchel Page's shadow here. Hilton Smith earned a reputation as being Satchel's shadow, the legendary Satchel Page. He would oftentimes come in and relieve Satchel. Well, Satchel was the draw. So Satchel's going to pitch two or three innings. And who came in and pitched the last six or seven? Hilton so, Smith. Yeah. And all the old timers in the Negro League say, if you're going to get anything, you better get it off of Satchel because you weren't going to touch Hilton Smith. I guess we're playing mop-up duty now. And thanks for watching, guys and gals, and thanks so much to Sony Studios for putting this in the game, finally. Again, thanks to the Negro Baseball League Museum as well for doing this great series. So great to learn some more history about the game's best players we probably didn't know about. Let a new generation of all players experience them firsthand, well, as close as firsthand as possible. All right, what is our mission here? What are our goals? Pitch, strike out two batters, pitch three innings, don't get them a run. Okay, bases are loaded again. Of course they are. Ooh. That didn't get where it needed to go. Did he go? Yes, he did. There's the two K's out of the way. Two more innings, don't get a lot of any runs. At least now we don't have anybody on bases to worry about. All ones account. One ball. Guess we did not check, we didn't go on that one. We didn't bother killing down the first on the check swing. All right. One down. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Floyd kind of looked at that pitch and go, well, I can't believe that dance that far down. <coughs> That's a ball. That's all right. One ball, one strike. Was lined in the center field and drop in for a base hit. And they got the tie run aboard here with one away. Stick to the script, Neil. <laughs> fastball, fastball, down the zone. Throw him off the curveball, send him home. <laughs> There's two away. Line the middle right to the shortstop, splits up the second from the first out. And we're now three outs away. And more importantly, there's nobody on base this time. That was going to be over the head of the shortstop as soon as I say that. High run aboard again here in the ninth inning. All right, let's just go stick with them when we know. And a ground ball.
There's the ground ball to the shortstop. He'll flip the second for one. Out. On to first. Good. Not in time. But there is one away as Melvin Terry with the batter. Popped up the right field. Right fielder is going to not get to that one in time and drop in. Runners now at the corners with just one away. I had to go make it interesting, didn't we? Jeez. Hey. One ball. ball just missed. All right, we got two away now. Jerry Gordon representing the last chance for Northwest. Got him with the curveball. And that one goes into the books as a success. There we go. A very successful save. And Hilton Smith. His last episode here. It is Hilton Smith who is credited with having introduced or recommended Jackie Roosevelt Robinson to Kansas City Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. Hilton had seen Jackie playing against a white military baseball team that had major league players on it in 1942. He quickly recommended Jackie to Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. When Jackie gets discharged from the military in 1944, he writes to Monarchs owner J.O. Wilkinson and Wilkie gives him a tryout. He makes the team and he joins the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. Many credit Hilton Smith for introducing us to the man that would break Major League Baseball's six decade long self-imposed color barriers. Well, we thank Hilton Smith for doing so. And again, thanks guys and gals for watching. Hilton Smith's been unlocked. Here we go. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Hope you guys are liking these. And make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.